Wow, the DOJ is charging a dude from India who was hired by an employee of the Indian government to kill a ski activist in New York. This is wild. Breaking news, the Justice Department has charged an Indian national in a foiled plot to assassinate a Sikh separatist in New York City. He says they worked together with an Indian government employee to plot the murder. NBC's Ken Delanian has the latest reporting on this. What more can you tell us, Ken? Chris, the Justice Department says the intended victim in this case is a Sikh activist based in New York who favors a separate Sikh nation in part of India. So he's essentially an enemy of the Indian government. And what's so remarkable about this is that federal prosecutors are saying that this plot was directed from India and that the accused assassin worked in concert with an unnamed Indian government em employee who referred to himself as a senior intelligence operative. And U.S. Oh, wow. A senior intelligence operative? of the Indian government, so somebody pretty high up in the Indian government was, uh, had, uh, had this all planned out, though luckily it didn't go the way they were planning. Prosecutors say this plot in New York unfolded in June and was connected to the murder of another Sikh separatist outside a Sikh temple in British Columbia, Canada in June. If you recall, Chris, the Canadian prime minister made a big splash when he said that credible intelligence showed that the Indian government had directed and planned that murder. Now, the Indian Wait a minute. I remember reading about that or watching some videos about that. Wow. This is wild. So the government no surprise with you know modi being the leader is pretty fascist at the moment the Indian government has denied this but the biden white house says it raised the issue with india and is taking it very seriously the washington post is reporting that cia director william burns flew to india in august and director of national intelligence avril haynes followed in october both to discuss this issue now, one reason the New York plot didn't succeed is that the accused tried to hire a hitman who turned out to be an undercover U.S. law enforcement officer, Chris. And it's worth noting that Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government has accused Sikhs of fomenting terrorist attacks in India and has listed the Sikh activist who was targeted in New York as a terrorist. So one important question here, Chris, is whether the U.S. policy of killing people our government designates as terrorists overseas has emboldened other countries to do the same. This is a... I mean, kind of right. I mean, if the United States can go to a different nation and kill people they consider terrorists, then that means from other uh, that means governments of other nations can send people over to the United States to kill people they consider to be terrorists. I mean, yeah, the U.S. government has opened the door to that, unless the U.S. government wants to claim that you no, know, only they have the right to go into another sovereign territory and kill people. The door that no one ever wanted to open, Chris.